Okay, everybody, is this a 65 Shelby Cobra or not? I don't know, but Kenny, how's it going? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Tell us, um, I came up here and I was like, okay, 65, that looks nice, but right. at the same time, it's not really a 65, yet it looks like a 65. 65 body. 65 body, so what's that all about? Ma'am? What's that all about? 65 was a Shelby Cobra, it's an AC car. Uh, this is a fiberglass car. It's um, hand built from top to bottom, complete uh, interior, um, Jack Roush motor, makes about 525 horsepower and is a dream to drive. Well, it's a dream to look at as well, everybody. I mean, let's have a look here. You can come walk with me, Ken. In 65, were the grills like that? 65, that is iconic to the Shelby. It has the oil cooler in the bottom, the slanted radiator. So they still like to keep some of the vintage look? They, they try to keep a lot of the vintage. It's the icon behind Shelby. Yeah, to respect Shelby's work, I mean, that's a That's why they are licensed through Carroll Shelby. So the body shape is based off the 65, but again, modifications like the fenders here are different. And the door size. And the what? The door size. Door size. This is the way they were. This is how small yep. it was back then as well. Yep. Okay. Back when Ken Miles raced these cars, they were all aluminum. Um, but yeah, they, they jumped in and out of them. They had the small windows and single roll bars. Hey, this is... <laughs> wow, very interesting. Safety first. Safety first, 100%. And what about the dashboard? So the dash, this is period correct. It does have the speedometer that is backwards. Um, it's it's the era of the great the, of the Britain cars, yep. uh, AC Cobras. Um, but yeah, it, it, this this car has a touch of modern. Uh, and it, what's been modern about it? Modern is the late model. Uh, it's a Shelby GT 350 color. It's deep yep. impact blue. Okay. Um, Monza or Ferrari red on the stripes. Um, the late model wheels and tires lets the car be drivable. The older style cars don't, they don't drive as well. Now, Ken, you were telling me that a 65 Shelby is not easy to drive. They're not, they're short wheelbase. Um, they're tough. Okay. You know, the, you, you, it's a lot of horsepower for a little short car and It'll get away from you if you ain't careful. Yep. But drive it respect and it'll respect you. And the brakes? Brakes, it's Wildwood brakes. They back into the technology side. So we've got good brakes all the way around. Yep. The bigger, the larger rotors. Um, yeah, the car needs to stop. It needs to stop fast. And that's why <laughs> they road race these. Beautiful. And what made you want to get the 65 Shelby? When I was 16, I, uh, I was into cars and I built, I built some drag cars, but it was my dream at 16 years old to own a Shelby. I'm 50, I was 48 when I bought this car with my wife and uh, it, it, was, it was a dream of mine. I've, I've had a lot of race cars, but this was always my dream and here I am. I've, I've had it about five years now. Uh, Superformance built this car from top to bottom and they are the best out. That's Congratulations on that. I'm happy you fi your dream finally yes. came true. Dreams. You waited. You were very patient. Dreams can come true. They can they come can. true, everybody. There you go. I'm happy for you, Ken. And Thank what you. is now, what is your plans with the Shelby here? So car shows, get it appreciated. Car shows, I drive it. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a good weather car, of course. Of course. Uh, I do drive it. People ask me all the time about, will you just trailer it, trailer queen? No, absolutely not. Yeah, you drive My it. wife's going to drive it for the first time <laughs> this year. She's going to. She told me. You've had it for five years. She told me at Christmas, she says, I want to drive the car this year. I said, what car? She says, the Cobra. Okay, baby. We'll talk about we'll it. Do it. No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's okay. her. It's her. It's, it's ours. We're going to do it. Absolutely. There we're good. Go. She's waited five years. She can handle it. She pulled it out of the garage the other day. She's good. She's good. Um, what is the um, roof? Is it a hard top? Ma'am? Is it a hard top? Or? No, um, they do have a hard top for them. I don't, they, oh, they run them in sorry. the... As we were just talking, sorry about that, everybody. I'm so happy that your dream came true. You've been wanting the 65 Shelby for a very long time. Long time. And you were very patient. I was. You were very patient. Life's and good. 
now finally you've got it. And we were just talking about your lovely wife, Tabitha. Yes, ma'am. She's going to get to drive it. She will. She wanted uh, Christmas. She said, uh, I want to drive the car. I said, babe, what car are you talking about? <laughs> the Cobra, of course. OK, I, I, I'm there. She's yep. going to do it. Yep. So we get back. We'll get us a good weather day. She's going. And how long have you had the Cobra for? About five years. And five years, she's never driven it? Out of choice, or she was not allowed? <laughs> I've never said that. I think uh, it's a lot of car. Yep. And, and she's drove some stick cars before, but yep. not to this degree. She pulled it out of the garage the other day for the first time by herself, and I knew she's ready. Well, it is a five-speed, as I've just learned, V8, so I'm not surprised. Big V8. I would be nervous, too. And I have been nervous when people have asked me if I wanted to drive their classic. And I'm like, no, better not. <laughs> but it is absolutely brilliant, honestly. Look at this. And like we said, off to more... Deep Impact Blue. Deep Impact Blue, OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And it's off to car shows to get this appreciated. That, we do this for you guys. There you go. Yes, it's a lot of work, but we, we have fun. Yep, and I bet you do. And would you ever race it? This one, no. But I can see where that would be a lot of fun. Yes. Um, yeah, road racing. But, you, but you've pressed it. You've pressed it and... Uh, yes, I, I raced some cars in my days, and, and I'm not scared of it at all. <laughs> Good for you. I right. appreciate this. Thank you yes, so much, Ken. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Goodbye. Hang tight, hold this. Let me get this seat better out of your mm -hmm. way. Ken's just asked me um, if I would like to have a seat in the 65 Cobra. And I didn't answer him. I was just smiling. And he goes, you want to sit in it? And I said, yeah, I do. I do. I, w I do want to sit in it, everybody. So thank you, Ken. I do appreciate You're this. You're welcome. Now, all these cars are so different, everybody. Um, just the way it sits on the ground, how low it is, or how low the roof is. As we saw yesterday at Tulsa, I hit my head on the Lincoln. But um, this step. is So step in the well. seat, and then just, yep, put, yep, you're good. I know well enough not to put my shoes on the good parts. <laughs> wow, this is absolutely brilliant. You know, this is very comfortable. It is. It is, and when you sit in it, it actually does feel like a race car. Yeah, it feels like an absolute race car. Wow. It's a joy to drive. I bet it is. This is absolutely brilliant. And can can wow. you feel yourself going 140 mile an hour? Oh yeah, I'll Taking be doing a turn. More. I'll, I'll be doing a lot more than that. Absolutely. 100%. With five speed so V8, Big V8, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this is just beautiful. And look at the fine detailing. Can I grab the camera? I just want to show everyone. Yep. So the dash is 65, replicating 65 Cobra. And what I love is these fine details and the size of this door, everybody. I mean, Shelby was an absolute, is an absolute genius. Wow. Fiberglass 65 Shelby Cobra. It's absolutely brilliant, everybody. And if I didn't show you before, you can see the pinstriping fine work here yeah absolutely beautiful and single roll bar doesn't get better than that it doesn't get any better than this <laughs> you're right i'll let you hold this so i can get out absolutely brilliant <laughs> these are tiny cars and i'm not a big person so ken how easy is it for you to get in and out of that real easy <laughs> um you kind of shoehorn yourself down in, yep. and you come out the same way. Um, no wonder back in the day they used to jump over it. They just jump over they the top. They would just jump over the top. Sure. You're going to have to just jump over it. Pretty much. Yeah, I would be jumping over that. I wouldn't be using that small door every time. <laughs> no, that's absolutely awesome. Loved it. Thanks again for that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.